Hello, this is Lorena Espinosa. I'm the owner of Lorena Espinosa Design. Um, well, we have been working on different things. Um, we were waiting for some things to happen before we move some of our products to another store. I have I have like a couple different stores, but the products have not been um, taken to those stores or we haven't transferred some of the products or we haven't built the stores because we were waiting on some technical issues that um, one of them was that one of the websites was um, uh, they were changing some things and they were changing the subscription um, it was like um, like the introductory price and then like they were adding features to the one that we pay and they didn't really have like all the things for the store to be built on that one so I was waiting for them to add more features so I could transfer my products there and they have so I'm really happy that we have a lot of work to do um, we will be building that store. We have about 5,000 or 10,000 products that we want to add. Um, the same ones that we will be adding to another store that we have. We have another store, but we haven't had the time to add all the products. When I am in school, when I'm attending the university classes, I usually uh, do like a couple of different things. For example, if my class is uh, challenging, um, I might design a couple of earrings, you know, just to relax or I will be, um, you know, I will be uh, checking on specials and things to do for my uh, live shows. I do live shows, um, auctions. Uh, right now, because, uh, you know, I need to spend more time with my classes and the, um, I only take one class at a time, but, you know, I have uh, projects to complete and this, this class in particular, you know, requires more time and more attention. This one is an artificial intelligence type of class at a doctoral degree level. So, I mean, we are required to um, research and to do things that management and programming would do. Like we really need to find out all the law, what is the best way to use it, what is the safest way, because we would be the ones to define the policies and the guidelines for use. So it's, it's not what you see as a user. It's like um, before people can use the uh, uh, artificial intelligence, there are guidelines that the people that will have those in their platforms, they have to decide how much uh, the artificial intelligence will do. So they set the limits on how much or what is it or how it will work. Some people use it for documents and that's all they will do with it. Some other people will use it to um, do data science analytics um, and that's it. Some other people will use it to, um, to identify objects. Let's say if someone wants to search for a specific um, plant or specific stone or specific article and they want to know what what this is called then they would write a program they would do the coding the programming and they will set all of that up and the um, artificial intelligence would be able to recognize the pattern of of whatever uh, object but you know it does take time uh, to build it and all of that because it's programming and then the user can just take one little picture and they don't know how many programming hours it takes 
for the artificial intelligence to work the way it does. Some other people um, might use it to identify areas. For example, um, if they will be designing something like for uh, floors or things like that, they would be able to identify the shape of the floor um, with sensors sending the information and then the artificial intelligence designing the floor plan. Um, another way that people use it is to um, get like from the text from whatever people are writing to make pictures. That's the very most popular artificial intelligence, something that I really like because it seems like a game. But sometimes, and I will tell you my own experience, sometimes you can be really, really good at many things, but not drawing. And I'm not good at drawing. I know what I want to see, but I'm not the type of person that will be drawing or painting a masterpiece. And with artificial intelligence, you can type, okay, I want this background. I want this, uh, this type of, um, uh, you know, drawing. I want this, uh, you know, this and this and this. And hopefully if you get the right uh, place for the artificial intelligence, they will have a lot of things to create what you are requesting. Some people, some platforms will not have a lot because they don't deal with a lot of uh, artistic or pictures or they don't have a lot of catalogs or videos to be able to create what you're asking for. So it will be kind of limited for some, for some uh, platforms. But some platforms do have a lot, a lot of catalogs, a lot of images, a lot of videos, a lot of things, and they might be able to create whatever you're requesting. So that's something exciting. I'm studying artificial intelligence at a doctoral degree level. I do like the artificial intelligence for art, for uh, songwriting, for poems. poems. Um, I like it for um, designs and for data science. You know, artificial intelligence can research a lot of things and can make it faster when people are researching. So it is really good. It could also uh, design music, music notes and all of that. It all depends how they program the artificial intelligence program and for the purpose that they want to use it for. So each platform, for example, a music platform might use it to create music. And that's really exciting because probably and hopefully they will also integrate something about copyrights. So when they create the music is all is registered to whoever created the, the music. That has been a problem for the music industry, for the movies, for the art. And hopefully Artificial intelligence programs will also be able to register the images, catalog the images and the creators of those images because people do deserve to get the proper credit for their own creativity. Okay, so basically that's like some top, that's a topic that will be coming up. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, months, whatever, we are planning to use a lot of artificial intelligence for a lot of things. We have a lot of different projects that would will really use artificial intelligence. One of my own projects is uh, business administration and design. You know, we have a lot of products that we're designing, so we will be using it to enhance the creativity that we already have and to bring the ideas that we have uh, to a real nice um, rendering where we can have something that we're happy about when we create it. 
we have new products i wanted to share that with you guys but um i do not have the screen share right now but i am so happy with what i have designed so far and i really like the idea so i will be doing that and i will show you something in a few minutes i am only taking a few minutes from my time because I do have uh, some projects to do tonight. Um, I have two things that I have to complete tonight. But I wanted to I wanted to spend some time here because um, I haven't been here for a while, and it is um, you know I haven't been here uh, you know posting my videos and things like that. And I just wanted to come and, you know, give you an update of, about what we're doing here. So basically, we are embracing the artificial intelligence uh, software in developers and, you know, doctoral degree classes, you know, for artificial intelligence. And um, it is a really positive thing, but something that requires responsibility the higher up you are in artificial intelligence, in my case, I'm in a doctoral degree level, uh, the more that we have, um, and I am in computer science, so I'm all for the new technology, software, inventions, anything that has to do with devices, electronics, everything, I am all for it. And I am all for having people uh, to be responsible because you know it is it is great to have things that improve the quality of time. Um, we only have 24 hours a day, and the more that we free time, the more that we have time for our own families, for our own kids, for our own, you know, work. If we have two jobs, you know, and one we can, you know, use the artificial intelligence then we will be uh, better, um, you know, better for time management and things like that. Um, also, that things might be faster. Uh, if you think about income, um, it will increase income as well because, you know, if you accelerate the speed of, you know, like, marketing or products or sales or whatever whatever you do um, if you increase the uh, speed you will be producing more and faster and so for uh, technical writing and other things artificial intelligence will make it easier and faster to complete projects and things like that i will not use it like to me, there there are a couple of things that I have. I have like something that I want. I want to really find out how it is, okay? Because I'm a person that likes the old songs, you know, the original songs, and people were writing this, thinking, okay, what what can I write for this song? You know, some of those. Um, Songs were written about situations, they were written about love, about breakups, about emergencies, about, you know, groups, about happiness, about sadness, about, you know, different, different things. Artificial intelligence, you know, to write songs won't have that emotion. Um, if you ask artificial intelligence to write a song about a breakup, it's just going to gather all the, you know, usual, we 